at the Russian Dacha. <laughs> Finally! everyone how are you how's it going i'm so happy to see you here again on my channel and if you don't know me i'm irene i'm a youtuber from russia based in moscow and i'm finally here yes i came to my friend's russian dacha or summer house or like cottage village finally <laughs> i dreamed about this for so long and we are here i bloody wanted to show you how typical russian dacha look like i used to have dacha when i was a kid and we visited so many times when i was young but unfortunately we sold it because my parents were unable to came there it was pretty far away from our place of living in Saratov and that's why we sold it many many years ago and today I'm so fortunate to show you how typical Russian dacha looks like and to show you the space it will not be the typical Russian dacha tour as you may see on YouTube from other creators from Russia but I want to make a vlog I want to show you what we're doing here how we will spend these three days i came here alone all by myself uh, my husband and our pads left home because he has so many work for future days and i came here with my friends whose dasha is and their dog by the way it's him it's flocky yeah you're so pretty yeah you're so pretty flocky of course, in the first part of this video, I want to show you this dacha uh, because it's not especially typical for Russia, but it's pretty simple, it's pretty beautiful, and I want to show it to you. The first thing you see uh, arriving to dacha is this beautiful fan. It's pretty simple but useful because it's a sliding door. And this is the dacha. Unfortunately, I can't show you the inside of this house because it's a private space of my friend's parents and they will not be so happy if somebody like me will show their private space on YouTube. So let's respect their choice and I will show you the outside and this little house maybe. From this spot you can see the whole house. This is the main building and it has two floors and also a chimney and it's really quiet, it's really beautiful and simple and it's so comfortable to spend the time here because now you see that's really quiet it's so different from the city I'm so grateful and happy that my friends invited me to their dacha because it's so quiet here and I'm so tired of the city I'm so exhausted after two whole weeks of working after editing videos for my colleague for YouTube and for me also and I really want to spend my time here and to enjoy this peaceful moment to live my life and to spend this time as great as only can with my friends and their dog so we will spend here almost three days uh, Saturday is today then Sunday and on Mondays evening we will come back home. I think my dog will be so happy to see me after three days not being at home. So let's move on with the main building, this main house. Oh baby, he's screaming. I think he bored a little bit. <laughs> yeah, you're tired. Where's mommy? He's nervous because my friends left for grocery and <laughs> we are here trying to film this video. If you want to ask what the breed is, it's a Basenji. So moving on with this house, uh, one interesting fact about it. My friend Yakov and his father built this whole house by themselves and it's so cool. I'm so proud to have these friends. And also they built the second house, but it's another story. Uh, okay, I can't film inside the house as I told you before, but I want you to imagine the inside area and the interior, so I will describe a little bit about the layout because it's unusual a little bit for Russian typical dachas. On the first floor you can see the main entrance and this space is a whole area. Here they have some storage shelvings and some necessities that you may store in the hallway. Then they have the main living room and it's a bit unusual because it's 
like an open space because his father got inspired by Americans and he built this first floor like in totally open space. They have a living room, a kitchen and also a bedroom like in one room. And that's not enough. They also have a little toilet room near the bed. It may be controversial, but it's useful. It's really useful if you live in a house, like not with friends like me, but if you live here to, together with your husband and the whole house is yours, it's really useful. Why not? Kitchen, living room, bedroom and a toilet all in one space then also they have uh, stairs to the second floor and the second floor is totally furnished like a living room and bedroom the third floor is also furnished like a little bedroom or library i like this house it's really cozy and the atmosphere here is so setting it's my second time on this dacha and i'm really happy to be here again <laughs> because yeah it's really comfortable and also you can see the second house and it's a little teeny tiny house Jakob's father built this little house for Jakob and his wife Sophie which is who's my best friend and I love this house it's not finished but I want to show you this one space this terrace I think the most beautiful space in the whole dacha. The idea of this house was like the second separate space for Jakob and his wife Sophie uh, because she is an allergic, is a huge allergic to the parents' cat and this is like a parents' house. You can compare this house like the master bedroom and the other bedrooms. So this house is like a master bedroom. It's his parents' house and it's full furnished like for them. And this house is like a kid's bedroom or something like that. It has a separate entrance, then a little hallway and again open space for like kitchen and living room. Then here they have a stairs for the second floor and the second floor is like a chimney. So this place is pretty narrow and small. So you can place here only a bed and have a good sleep here, but it's really comfortable. And I can imagine how it could look in future when they will finish the renovation if they will. And here is the second entrance to this house, but it's not the whole house. It's not the entrance inside. This is a little terrace with a panoramic window and they have this beautiful and uh, heavy door, sliding door. I can't even describe you how beautiful this place is because white walls, you can hear the screaming cat, I'm sorry, this is the cat of Jakob's parents and they closed him in the house because this little guy I just want to kill him so this beautiful place is the terrace you can close the sliding door and spend your time inside this room uh, and you can place here a sofa or like a armchair or like put cozy pillows on the floor and also this can be used like an office space or like a living kitchen area and this is pretty convenient guys the view the view What could be better? Can you imagine sitting here like with a cup of coffee and with laptop and working? As Yakov and Sophie both working from home, like they are digital nomads, this is the perfect spot to work from. I love this space so much. And last summer when me and my husband visited their dacha, me and Sophie spent so much time here on the terrace and you can close the sliding door and feel comfy inside because also it could be warm inside. You can see the uh, radiators and also you can leave it open and to catch the fresh air inside. So yes, I think that's perfect. I hope you can imagine all that I had described here about this house because it's really beautiful and it's really simple. Yes, it's much more comfortable than typical old, old, old Russian dachas where Russian babushkas used to live. And it's really different from my dacha, which I had when I was a kid, but you know, not at all. In my previous dacha, when I was a kid, we have we had an outside toilet. There they have two toilets inside. Oh, I forget to tell you that they have not only chimney, but they also have a basement. And there they store some food, some extras, 
and also they have here a full bathroom so you can take a shower you can take a bath here uh, also it's a second toilet and a storage room so to have a basement is really convenient but not every dacha has it one of the things at dachas which i love most is the flowers and all the herbs you can see here and trees it's so beautiful and peaceful but here's one little scary things about dutchers just for me personally i'm afraid of insects all kinds of insects no matter what it is and today's morning i had a scary situation when i was sitting uh, on the bench near the entrance of the house with my icus and i was chilling i was listening to the nature and a giant grasshopper <laughs> landed near me so it was really scary and i screamed as a kid and jumped from this grasshopper and leave this place immediately going inside the house. <laughs> I also left my tripod and my phone on the bench because I was afraid of this grasshopper, so no. Irene and insects, it's no, totally no. I can't understand how I was a kid and how I played with them, how I caught them and touched them. Ah, no. <laughs> Okay, let me show you the whole space of this dacha and the garden. I already showed you the main building, this house, and this second building where now there are cat leaves and it's not renovated. This is fully, completely renovated and you can live here the whole year. So turning to the right, you can see the cubes with dirt. It's for gardening. Here they have some apple trees apple trees again some apples and here the main space behind the building my friends and their parents are not huge gardeners as you can see because here you can see the huge open space area and a little bit of gardening um, here they have dill and there they have tomatoes and i think that the best moment of having dacha is that you can grow foods by yourself and it's like a connection with nature and you see there are so beautiful tomatoes we also picked some of them with my friend for dinner i love this smell of tomatoes when you touch the tomato leaves and then make a deep breath oh my god the smell is outstanding so yeah i think that's the main space where my friend's parents grow foods like tomatoes, some greens like dill and onions. And here they have strawberry. Yeah, some more plants. And then beautiful, beautiful flowers. And this is like the centerpiece of this huge garden. When I was here last summer with my husband and my dog, oh, you had to see this. They ran around this house like crazy. You know, having a dog and having the space outside like dacha when you can leave the city and come here with your dog and take take it off from the leash and freedom dogs are so happy here unfortunately i can't take my dog with me this time because my friend got so allergic and we don't know why especially but yeah i'm having fun with this guy so here we have some cucumbers and oh I see one. Hello, Mr. Cucumber. Some more greens. I don't know what's that, but I think that this is something eatable. Then some more strawberries. Again, a huge tomato bush with giant tomatoes. I think they're so huge. And, and there's the pumpkin. They also have a pumpkin. Oh my God. It's so pretty. Also, you can mention that the other duchess, uh, like here, 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 and this one, like here, here, the neighbors, um, you mentioned maybe that the duchess are pretty close to each other, but you know, it's so quiet here. You can hear only insects and maybe some planes because they're an airport near us and that's why you can hear maybe some noise from the planes that's the whole space of their dacha and i like it so much i love that they don't have so much gardening here so you can walk you can relax here but you have all what you need cucumbers tomatoes 
some greenery, also a pumpkin, and also they have pea trees, apple trees, some more tomatoes and strawberries, and also a dill. I think that's enough. Oh, and they have some apples here too. Oh, the leaves are real a bit. You know, I have a little dream that when we will move abroad with my husband, fingers crossed, we will do this as soon as possible. But I want to live not in the city. I don't want to live in the downtown. I want to live maybe in suburban area. And there's an interesting fact, you know, that in Russia, the downtown of the city is the most expensive and popular place to live and the suburban area is not like that much comfortable because you have to spend so much time on your way to work and back home and the suburban areas especially are not that comfortable for living than the city center like the downtown i know that in the us and maybe in other countries the suburban area is much more comfortable than the downtown and i want to live in the suburban area so much i want to have like this house maybe i know that it's not dacha in your countries maybe by the way leave me comments below do you have a summer house in your country? What does it mean for your country? And maybe if you're already living in the house, you have a garden or maybe you grow some foods here. Just tell me in the comments what kind of place you live in. Like it's an apartment or it's condo or maybe it's a house with a front yard and backyard or you have garden and do gardening and grow some foods and greens here because it's really interesting. And tell me in the comments below about uh, the tradition of summer houses. Do you have one in your country or not? Because in Russia, summer house, it's like really typical for most of the families. I think now not as much families have it, but when I was a kid, all our friends had summer houses. All our friends used to visit dachas or they have maybe grannies and grandpas who lives in the village and they spend their summer in the village between school years. And you know, this is like kind of a tradition in Russia to have a summer house. It's like a must have, a really must have. But unfortunately, we don't have one with my husband and we don't even have a car, but we both have driver license. We thought a little bit uh, about having a summer house here in Russia, but we decided decided not to buy it and we decided not to buy a car because having a car in Moscow is really expensive and not so useful. Yeah, we just have some thoughts for the future to move to another country and to live in the house with a backyard and maybe to grow some foods here and to feel a little bit somewhere in between the regular apartment and the dacha in Russia because I really want to grow some foods. I really want to grow some greenery. I want maybe to spend some time of gar with gardening because I'm not a fan of it. But maybe, who knows, <laughs> I'm almost 30 and maybe it's the perfect time to start. I know some of my friends who started gardening at their 30s or maybe a little bit earlier and who knows, it's really interesting. Oh, you know what else typical for Russian duchess? Not maybe for everyone, but look, their neighbors have a greenhouse here. You see, they have some tomatoes here and some greenery. That's interesting. And they have one greenhouse and the other one here too. And yeah, this was the little typical Russian dacha tour. And then you will see how we spend our time in dacha because we want to grill sausages. Also, we maybe will be going for swimming. And yeah, I think this is enough, uh, which I can show you here about the typical Russian dacha tour. I'm so sorry that I can't film inside and maybe in the future I will have an opportunity to visit somewhere else dacha and to show you the inside and all the dachas are pretty different. And some of people have more fancier ones like my friends do and maybe others have some old duchess but i want to share with you this piece of summer because that's the first time in this summer when i went somewhere that's huge for me i want to take my time to have rest and to enjoy the nature and these nature sounds from insects and to share with you some moments it's like a personal diary i hope you like it so 
stay tuned and watch this video till the end by the way if you want to support my channel i will be happy if you press the like button on this video and you can also subscribe to my channel to see more and to stay tuned and to support me i'm always so thankful for all of you you may know it and i'm so grateful for all my subscribers so stay tuned and watch this video till the end Good morning guys, it's another day, it's Sunday and I'm feeling so relaxed, I had a good sleep and it's really strange because I woke at 5 a.m. as in Moscow it's a regular time when I wake up uh, every day with my husband and it's strange because yesterday I went to bed so late for me because I usually used to go to bed like at 9 or 10 p.m. yesterday I went like at midnight I woke up we had a delicious breakfast and a fresh cup of coffee we're walking out and about in the countryside you know it looks a little bit different from the countryside where I used to uh, visit our Dutch in Saratov and that's why I want to show you different houses different types like the cheapest ones or more, maybe the fanciest ones. My friends told me that this enormous and huge house is like the house of plastic surgeon. That's why <laughs> he's so huge and beautiful. And I saw this house a year ago when I used to be here with my friends. That's not the typical dacha. <laughs> that's a whole house. And that's like the small houses. Yeah, it looks really strange where you live and in front of your building is this huge house and your house is like like that. I prefer to live in this one rather than in this one. Hello. Hello. We came out from here and I see this huge and long fence. So the whole this side behind the double fence, like the normal one and like the plant fence, this is the elite village for rich people. <laughs> they have huge houses, large spaces to live and this is private space. They have CCTV cameras everywhere. So by the left side you see the simple countryside and by the right side this is the elite village but the trees here is so beautiful oh you see cctv camera they are everywhere here oh we came to a beautiful field because we're going to see the next village <laughs> not the expensive one this field is like dried out because of this weather this summer leave me a comment below guys uh, what the maximum temperature to do have in your place of living where do you live in your country in your city because in russia it was like about 40 degrees like 37 maybe and i heard that in the uk in the uk it was like 40 degrees celsius maximum and yeah here you can see again these houses there are such uh, private houses and townhouses which are for maybe a couple of families and this is the really expensive village so my friends told me that this little village which i showed you before called like a belly berek or in translation it's like white shore and it's not as much elite so here was the white shore strange sounds uh here is much more expensive village where celebrities do have their houses and we're going through this field to see the village and there 
I want to show you the beautiful, beautiful houses. They are so Russian, just in case if you want to, if you want to see them. Can you believe that these houses were not even existed last summer? And you see, these houses are pretty similar and it's like the company building. So cute and cozy, oh my God love these houses and this is the most unusual house i ever saw in my life this is the round house <laughs> oh my god it's so unusual look interesting yeah and there starts this village with these beautiful houses which i wanted to show you these type of houses are so typical for russian dacha yeah and the another one example you see the first building which in front side this is the old building and the building behind it is like freshly built and new and renovated and that's why it's really interesting to see how people live here all dutchers are so colorful are so unique So the church bells are ringing and we're going to the local grocery store. It's pretty small, but they have everything which you need, like sweets and water and some essentials, ice cream. It's Sunday, that's why it's so loud and so crowded because it's a Sunday Mass in Russian church. But it's really beautiful. I like this sound. Our plans have changed and we decided to leave Dacia and come back home today at Sunday and not to stay here on Monday. So we're both tired but relaxed and feel so good. So let's say goodbye to this amazing place and huge thanks to my friends. Mm -hmm.